Imagine an entire town breaking into uncontrollable dance that doesn't stop for days. It may sound like something out of a movie, but this bizarre event actually happened 500 years ago in Strasbourg, France. So what could have caused the historic dancing plague of 1518? Let's find out today on Science Symphony. In July 1518, a woman named Frau Trophia stepped into the street and began dancing fervently. She didn't stop for six days straight. People started bringing her food and drink while she danced, thinking she'd tire herself out, but she kept going. Soon, others started joining in, unable to stop the twisting and writhing. Within a week, dozens of people were dancing in the streets, and within a month, hundreds were consumed by the inexplicable urge to boogie. The nonstop dance-a-thon created chaos in the town. Many dancers collapsed from exhaustion or suffered heart attacks and strokes, but if they stopped moving, the mania returned. Concerned, the town magistrates even brought in a troop of dancers to try entertaining the mob and wear them out. But these pros soon got pulled into the frenzy too, unable to stop. So, what explains this bizarre dancing plague? Theory one, ergot poisoning. Some believe the dancers ingested ergot, a fungus that grows on grains like rye. Ergot can cause spasms, hallucinations, and tingling in the limbs when ingested. However, historical accounts suggest the dancing was more euphoric and voluntary in nature, not convulsive fits, and the plague lasted way longer than air gut poisoning symptoms. Theory two, stress relief. In the 1500s, life was bleak and leisure time rare. Joining the dance let people temporarily forget their worries and monotony of daily routines. The initial dancers may have found it liberating before the mania spread through sight and belief, but most eventually dropped from exhaustion, unable to derive meaning from the ceaseless dance. Theory three, mass psychogenic illness. The compulsive dancing likely started with real neurological causes amplified by the zeitgeist, but hysterical behavior can spread through close communities via shared beliefs. The endless chaos made perfectly healthy citizens succumb through the sheer power of suggestion. But what made them keep dancing despite the punishments and threats remains a mystery. We may never fully understand what sparked the puzzling pandemic 500 years ago, but the dancing plague illustrates how bizarre phenomena can arise when psychological, social, and biological factors align just so. One thing's for sure, the people of Strasbourg in 1518 earned their title as history's most tireless party animals.